Greetings, Commanders! We got a new three-day event out of nowhere. Did not see this coming. So, normally, we just get, like, after a big 14-day event, we'll get a couple days off. Instead, they hit us with a one-day pirate treasure event, which are, these are amazing. I always buy all of these, except for the resource one. I don't think that one's very good. But, like, Mystery of Treasure Island, you get a release token for 5,000 gold, plus a strength cert and an ACOM. It's just value all day. You'll use it eventually. They're all good long-term investments. The pirates, the magazines are they're half of buy one, get one price. They're 25%. So it's a really good deal on magazines. Um, anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the Rurani Roulette. It's a 1 in 12 chance to get 20,000 gold. But along the way, you can get other good stuff. When I say other good stuff, it's not really that good. You have to spin this wheel, right? So uh, right now, I have three things on the right here. Uh, I didn't get any combo, so I'm just going to collect those to clear it. So you just get what you get. But you get to spend it for, for 2,000 gold. You get one of these things. Now, I don't think it's a 1 in 12 chance. I think it's one of those things that there's a hidden number here. But if you click the help button, it kind of tells you how it works. So there's five major points. Um, so the first one says uh, every time you spin the wheel, you're, one of the things you get goes into this temporary thing. There's... Uh, room for three items, so one, two, three. Okay, so every time you spin it, it, the thing you get goes over there. You can collect it later. Okay, you can you can claim it now or, or collect it later. Then when you claim the gifts, if you have two of them, you get an extra one. Okay, it doesn't matter if they don't match. So you have, let's say you get two melanges and a shadow matter, then you get two of the melanges, then you get, you got two melanges, so you get an extra one. That's nice. Okay, uh, if you discard an item, you lose the two thousand you spent to get an item in there. Uh, but you have a chance of getting that third item. And if you get a third item, I believe you actually get six instead of three. Now, I don't know that. I need to verify that. But that's kind of how it reads. So it says, if there are three identical items, the number of items received will double. So it sounds like if you have three, you will get six. So if you have two you'll get three, but if you have three, you'll get six. Does that make sense? Hopefully that's the way it works. Uh, if not, check the comments below. Someone will chime in if this video doesn't show it. Uh, you can discard the items. And then points are granted upon each turn of the wheel and corresponding chests can be claimed when the point reaches the target value. I'm not, oh, that okay, so there's a thing on the side. Uh, please claim the chest and items in the item bar during the event. So if you don't collect them in time and the event falls off, you won't be able to get them later. So what they say is every time you spin the wheel, up, you get a little point value. So I've done it seven times. I'm at seven. At 10, I get these things. This is nice. Buy mag, uh, look, 200 mag, some resources, some a lot of cosmic crystals. At 50, you get 400 mag. So that one's not as good. But at 100, you get energy stone, melange bot, and 500k. That's really good. But you have to spin it a hundred times and that's 200,000 gold down the drain so it's no small investment the question is is how how often can you get the 20,000 gold can we exploit that and actually make money in this event and I'm guessing probably not so let's spin the wheel remember there's a 1 in 12 chance of getting what we want so that's the 10 shadow matter that's trash that's like that's hitting a whammy we do not want those uh, that's worth 7,000 gold that's a release 10 okay so I got some value there Let's roll it again. But remember, we can buy those for 5,000. And that's a guarantee. Oh, almost the 20,000. So do I want to try and re-roll this or go for something bigger or just collect it as is? So the Shadow Matter's trash. I'm thinking mathematically. If I get rid of the Shadow Matter, could I get a chance of getting a release 10 token? The other No, I got, I got two bad ones in here. So I'm just going to collect it and move on. Okay, now I've also hit 10. So I'm going to grab this chest over here. It's glowing. I'll go ahead and grab that now. I get all of it. I don't have to pick one of the three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do it again. I really don't care about the Awaken tokens. They're worth, you know, oh, eh, 100,000 melange. That's worth 3,500 gold, I think, right? 35 or 4,000 gold. So not great there. I really only want the release tokens and the 20,000 gold. I don't need the Awaken tokens. Yeah, I don't know how good this event's going to be. I, I don't think it's going to be easy to exploit. I don't think the 20,000 gold is a 1 in 12 chance. They, they don't release the statistics. They make it seem like it's all equal, um, which is a problem. I think they're supposed to do that legally. I think they're supposed to. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to try and re-roll any of those and try to get the two-for-one deal. We'll just go again and see if we can't get lucky. I want to get that 20,000 gold because uh, finding a way to exploit that would be really cool. Because, I mean, think about it. If you, <laughs> if you could get the 20,000 gold and then double it, that's 120,000 gold. That's really good. Do that once and this whole event pays for itself. But as you can see, I'm getting, I'm just getting a lot of whammies. Yeah, so there's another one. So look, I do get the bonus here. So I'll get, uh, instead of getting two, I'll collect three. 
So I should get nine. Yeah, I get nine instead of six. So that's nice. A nice little added value there. Um, not super exciting, though. Not super exciting. If this coincides with the gold use, which it does, you get a little extra here. Okay, but tomorrow is the real day to do it because look at those pure crystals. The problem is, is the Ru... Uh, yeah, and you can. The Rurani Roulette uh, will be available tomorrow. So tomorrow is the better day to do it. So that'll probably be today if you're watching this video right now. Um, and some servers may not have this. So if you're wondering why you don't have it, it's because it's probably on the older servers, but I don't know that for sure. It doesn't need to be, though, because, I mean, yeah, pure crystal. Eh, they make it harder to get pure crystals on newer servers, that's for sure. All right, so let's try this again. And it's just burning through gold. It's 2,000 gold every time I do this. Yeah, so all junk. I'll just collect that and move on. I'd really just like to get the gold value. If I could just get the gold value. Oh, magazines aren't bad, but... Not really the value I'm looking for. I'm really just looking for that gold. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. How many more times do I got to spin this thing? I'm going to go ahead and just do it a few more times and, and, and montage it and fast forward it. We got it. It took me 30 tries to, to finally get it. So one in 30 chance for me. Of course, you know, the luck can definitely vary heavily. Uh, so do I re-roll? Yeah, I'm going to re-roll. I don't need this. Don't show it. Don't show it. All right, here we go. Okay, so now I've spent 8,000 gold trying to get another 20,000. At what point am I getting a diminished return, right? Because at at, at uh, if I get two of them... I'll get 60,000 gold, but I've already spent, you know, 8,000. So uh, I could probably afford to do it like two or three more times, and then it's just not worth it. I may as well just take what I get and run because I'm just destroying items. Like now I'm down a path where I basically just have to take what I get. See, there's there's some uh, a release 10. Like I, that's so good, I should probably just take it and move on. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it and then just see what my luck looks like. So there we go. I made gold on that uh, barely. But, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I, I think if this event was 1000 to spin the wheel, it'd be a lot better. Um, and then just the, the gold spend event that go, coincides with it isn't that great to really make you want to spend. So I'm going to go all the way to 50 just because I'm, I'm so close. Oh, I should probably do it tomorrow, though, because there's more value in it tomorrow. Oh, well, we're doing the video now. Let's just do it. Yeah, trash, trash. I just think that the, the high end of what you could get out of this event isn't worth it for 2,000 gold. Yeah, there we go. There's 50. Only got the gold once. Got a couple, uh, you know, doubles or whatever, 50% bonus ones, but... Um, Eh, not thrilled about this event. I'd like to see someone do the math and prove me differently here, but I think if the devs bring this back, they've got to either up the potential gain, the potential benefits of spinning it, or lower the cost dramatically. But um, anyway, there's a Rurani Roulette. Did you get the same rewards? Everyone's got the same rewards, right? Like, I'm not... Some, you can't just get a... Re no, it's got to be all the same. It's got to be the same. All right, thanks for watching. My name's Melt. I will see you tomorrow.